How are you? <laughs> hey Daniel, I'm good. How are you? Thanks. Doing great. Nice to meet you. Uh, let's get started. We're recording now. So, hello everyone. Welcome to this um, la um, like final week's edition of uh, Running Club at UC Riverside podcast episode. I hope everyone's doing well. My name is Daniel Yang, president of Running Club with my uh, with the my, with my co-host <laughs> Thomas Kwasi, vice president of Running Club. Yo. <laughs> Today we have a special guest from West uh, West High alumni, uh, Rachel. Uh, she's, uh, she loves hiking. She's, um, done triathlons. She goes to Cal Poly Solo, um, and also, uh, was a runner at West High, um, West High School, and, um, pretty talented is what I heard. <laughs> Went to state <laughs> track. So, um, thanks for being on the show. Yeah, thanks for having me, guys. Uh, small, small correction. I actually go to UCSD. <laughs> oh, UCSD. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. No yeah. worries. They're, they're both a, a coastal atmosphere, pretty similar, I guess. <laughs> yeah, they're both good schools, so. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, just to get it started, like, how did you get started running? Like, was it in high school or even before that? Yeah, for sure, high school. Uh, my sister uh, did cross country in high school, so coming in two years after her, like, it was kind of a given. I didn't really know what sport to choose, so I'm like, why not not running? But. I'm I'm definitely glad I chose chose it. I had her to help me through uh, tough times and give me advice along the way. It was I'm glad I chose it. Yeah. That's good. Sister's inspiration. That's awesome. Wait, so what do you study at? Well, sorry. So what did you study <laughs> at UC at UCSD? Real quick, like biology. So, no, I don't know. Uh, a lot of people study biology, but not. Uh, I do mechanical engineering with a renewable energy specialization. Um, while, while here, also next to to Scripps, the uh, the Oceanography Institute, I'm doing also a marine bi bio minor because uh, well, why not when you're at one of the world's most uh, uh, best schools for that? Because it's a lot of studying. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's cool though. That's God. awesome. So, do you do a lot of hiking with that? Like, is that part of like the science of it? Because I remember Moises said like. He, we have a friend named Moises. He does like, like he he would like look up, look like look for bugs and stuff on hikes because like <laughs> that was part of his like project and stuff. Like, do you, do you have anything like that or just like just or is it more nah, for fun? Nah, for uh, marine bio, we don't really do any like scuba diving. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that costs money, dude. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that, yeah, no, no, we're, we're not searching for bugs or anything. It's just uh, a bunch of uh, classes we have to take. I haven't taken like any lab classes for it, but uh, they're, they're some of the most like interesting classes I've had just because the professors are the most enthusiastic. I'd say sometimes a lot more than the engineering professors. <laughs> so it's a lot more fun. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like enthusiastic science teachers are probably the coolest. Like. Yeah, they are. Uh, and then, um, what, so, like, what kind of hikes did you do? Because, like, I remember just, like, throughout the years, like, I would see on your Instagram, like, mm -hmm. you'd be on, like, all sorts of hikes. So, like. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, g growing up, our parents took us, like, backpacking and to the outdoors a lot. So, I really wanted to continue that on my own. So, I've done a, a lot of backpacks. Um, like, a couple day thing? Is Because is that, like, I've never done backpacking, so, like. Does that, does that mean like it's over a day? Like Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually you spend like a night or two nights, however much time you want to set aside. Uh, you bring your own tent, cooking gear, uh, sleeping bags, stuff to stay warm. Um, and yeah, you're basically out in the backcountry away from civilization, taking care of yourself. Uh, yeah, just having fun with uh, whatever comes your way. You never really know. Yeah. What are, what's some like crazy things that you've come across? Uh, this... This last summer, before COVID shut anything down, I picked the right year to study abroad in uh, Germany. Oh, shit. That's we, cool. Our classes were only Monday through Thursday, so we had Friday through Sunday off. So me and two friends took a trip to Innsbruck. Uh, it's like a very active town in Austria. So we wanted to do this hike to hike or hut, hut to hut tour. So so in, Aust in Austria, compared to like U.S., they don't really do backpacking it's more of like hut to hut things where the huts provide like all the cooking wear and sleeping things so you don't that have would... to create it which is super nice is it like an actual like hut hut like they're like old 
like wow <laughs> yeah yeah a lot of them have like farms with them so see like cows or goats uh right next to them which is super yeah. cool cows and goats in their happy environment you know not like all yeah, yeah like caged up and stuff yeah yeah, yeah no that it's it's <laughs> it's actually pretty nice <laughs> that's dope cow poop in nature smells good <laughs> Wait, what it smells different <laughs> <laughs> it, it, yeah, it, it gives me like a nostalgic feel, like it reminds me of the open countryside, you know? I don't know. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> you see Davis, I think, I think USD, I mean USD is so known for all that, but like USD, USD <laughs> Davis is known for that, the manure. <laughs> yeah, my, my sister went to UC Davis and she had, she had a, um, a dorm room right on the downwind side of all those cows, so she she got nice whiffs of that. Oh, damn. That sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sucks. Well, in my opinion, I was a little jealous. <laughs> oh, no. no. That's gross. <laughs> no, yeah, that's, but... That's cool, man. Like, yeah. Oh, like, did you do any other kind of hikes and stuff in, like... Or, like, out, like getting more into, like, your abroad... Um, yeah, it? yeah, yeah. So, that, that hut-to-hut thing actually... Uh, turned into just one hut instead of a hut hut thing because like a storm was coming and oh, sure. uh, well, the people talked in German. There was like a meeting at the hut saying, if you're doing this trail that we were planning on doing, uh, we advise you to just go down or take this alternate route because a storm was coming. So uh, being like the only one in our group who could kind of understood German, I understood it enough that to uh, make the decision that we should, you know, go down oh. the mountain and not continue. But uh, yeah. If, if you weren't that, there, that like they might have kept going. Um, <laughs> it, it was it was a good time to practice German, especially uh, because I have relatives there and uh, they don't speak English, so it was nice to finally get some practice and talk to someone I haven't talked to a lot my whole life. Um, yeah. No, yeah, like where can you use German here? Like, I don't even know anyone or like, uh, anywhere. There's a German professor I speak in German. Oh, I see. <laughs> but <laughs> besides cool. that, yeah, I, I don't think it's That's that fair. useful here. <laughs> That's cool, then. Like, how long were you out there? So that experience, though. Yeah. Uh, out in, uh, well, I studied abroad for uh, five, five weeks, but we were in Innsbruck for, I think, four days. Yeah, the other days we just did like short, short day hikes. That's cool. Like, how is it? How is it in Europe compared to U.S.? Like, a lot different, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot, a lot more smoke. <laughs> a lot more smoke. <laughs> oh, you would like that, huh? <laughs> no, no, but <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. All right, um, we're gonna. It's it actually, it's it's a really nice country. <laughs> That's cool. All right, and um, I, I um, you texted me like uh, that you were in the triathlon team now. Uh, is that like part of the US UCSB system, mm -hmm. or is it like a team or is it like a club? Yeah, UC UCSB. That's yeah, it's dope. a well, it's not an official team. It's like a, a sports club. So that's cool. Um, I joined it. I think the beginning of junior year. I wanted to sophomore year, uh, but I didn't have a bike yet, and I I just. Yeah, I wanted to wait till I had a bike before joining first, but uh, yeah, fresh freshman year and sophomore year just running on my own. It was it was getting to me, and I really missed like running in a group like we we used to in high school. You know, yeah. uh, working with each other, like pushing hard, all all like working hard together to get better. I I really missed that, so I I was looking for a club to join, and the triathlon team was a, a bit more dedicated than our running club here, which. Uh, uh, is not not the best in my opinion so uh yeah the triathlon team was uh re really nice to join uh yeah well, what what it's like a schedule for the triathlon club or the team uh so we have uh monday brick practices where it's like a, a stationary bike trainer combined with like a run and then tuesdays and thursdays are swim and then Wednesday is like the run workout on the track and then on the weekend you have like a long ride and a long run but of course COVID this year is messing that up so um, we do like socially distance bike trainers or we do it over Zoom and then uh, the track is just like cancelled so we do that on our own and then our pool is actually open so people can actually go in and, and train to do that but it's a, 
only like one per lane. Usually we would do like yeah. uh, as like five people per lane or something, but it's just one this time. Dang. But uh, I've been laughing the swimming department because yeah, taking like, taking five classes this quarter, it's hard to make it out to all the practices. I mean, swimming is all about form. Like, did, no, did you like do swimming before like college or? It, it is. My form sucks. <laughs> uh, no, but no, not at, not at all. When I joined, like the very first practice I went to, the the distance we swam in that first practice was probably more than the total I've swam in my whole life before. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. No, yeah, it's it's yeah. I've done because yeah. I've done swimming before, and like I I could tell you just like mm -hmm. firsthand. I did distance swimming, so like. First hand, it's it's definitely all about mm -hmm. form. Like, it's gonna take a while to just learn that before, like, even like the strength training part of it. But I feel like swimming, even if you're not yeah. good, like, it's a really good like long workout and full body workout, which I like. So that's dope. Yeah, yeah. But some of the the best runners come from swimming too. Like, there's two two twins and a from I think South High that came uh, into our league in high school, and they like just dominated because they had a swimming background. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not swimming stuff. But are you thinking about doing like a um, Ironman or any kind of like race or something like that? Yeah, yeah. Eventually, um, I think that'd be like a, a super nice accomplishment to do. Um, obviously, I need to get in a bunch more training first. But yeah, that's that's the plan. Besides, uh, it costing like a few hundred dollars. I I'd really like to do one. Yeah. That's dope. Well, have you have you ever done one before or? Like, uh, so the first, the only triathlon I've actually done was on my own because the first one I was going to do was canceled because of COVID. And then, but I've done four duathlons. Two of them were actually supposed to be triathlons, but uh, one got, the swim got canceled in one because of poor water quality one time. And then the bike got canceled in one of them because the roads were slippery. So I ended up doing, or I have done four duathlons and um, have yet to do an official triathlon, but the, the one I did on my own was official to me. <laughs> That's cool. Wait, what, yeah. what uh, distances did you do? I did the, it's called an Olympic distance. I think it's like a, it's a 1500 meter swim. Oh, dang. And then, uh, oh, uh, some, something, something mile bike ride. <laughs> then a 10K run. Okay. Yeah. I, did a, I did a sprint triathlon with Andres in high school. Oh, nice. Uh, but that was like yeah. a lot shorter. It was like an 800 swim or maybe, mm -hmm. yeah. And then like a, like a 5K at the end. Yeah. Yeah, it's really fun. I really like biking, especially my uh, uh, first year on the team living on campus because I didn't have a car and like biking yeah. can like explore a lot. So I got to, to like explore more of San Diego and see that there's a lot more to it than uh, just buildings. There's actually uh, countrysides around four season ranches. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I see. Oh, so you got like a road bike and stuff like that too? Did you get your own road bike? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, that's nice. Yeah, uh, I, got a, I got a road bike for Christmas my first year. And then last year I actually got hit, <laughs> rear-ended by a car. Um, it, it turned out okay. <laughs> the guy gave me um, money to repair <laughs> the bike that I put down for a new bike. So now I actually have a, a really nice, uh, uh, an upgraded bike. Hey. That, you, <laughs> yeah, how was that recovery though? Did you get, are you okay from that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm chill. Like, I just, he like hit my back and then like, I like <laughs> flipped over or something and ran on my back. I got up the way. Uh, I guess that was just my initial instinct, but like my whole back wheel was bent and like the derailleur was also bent. So it was like inridable. Um, but the guy was, was nice about it. <laughs> That's good. That's lit though. Low key. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a nice bike now. <laughs> That's cool. So you've been like riding around recently, like PV and stuff like that? Yeah, I'm actually in uh, San Diego right now. Uh, doing remote classes uh here i i was at home last quarter for zoom but i i, I just got tired of being at home so i i wanted to come back um <laughs> so yeah That's but yeah cool. when I'm at home I, I i follow andres on strava too i've seen oh like oh my god 
yeah, yeah. Right, riding around PV is so fun and Andres is like so insane going on like no literally like, like he's in his, his rides are so long yeah it's, it's so, so fun. long <laughs> yeah he does like eight eight hour rides and stuff like sometimes I'm like god yeah it's, like, <laughs> it's easy to get addicted to I feel if you definitely if you have the time <laughs> Yeah, no, Danny, or because uh, um, because Andres is also like commuting to work and stuff with his bike, so oh, okay. he's like really like super into it. It's, yeah, yeah, that's definitely. Really is, it's really good cross training too, I think, like yeah. for any sport. Because it's less like imp impact, I guess, right? With bike. Yeah, training. yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely keep it going more. Yeah, I think I think for any sport, if you like do more than just one sport, it will help you overall in that one sport that you like the most yeah. what, what would you say running is still your main i'd say so yeah when if i don't run for like two days i get like super antsy and like i just have to go for a run like i need it to be productive <laughs> i need it to stay alive <laughs> yeah, I, I feel that too eh? like yeah. i don't know recently i've been running less just because i've been doing like mm -hmm. basketball and then like i've been trying to bike but i've been slacking because on just wants yeah. to bike at like 7 a.m or like I, I early for you, Thomas. Yeah, yeah, I'm just like, oh, I slept in, so. Uh, I'll, 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 yeah, yeah. Try. I'm gonna try. I told him I'm gonna push it back, and then I'll try to make it. But definitely, nice. yeah. Bike rides are lit. Like, yeah. We, all right. How about uh, you, Daniel? You've gone on any bike rides? Uh, I so when I'm in NorCal, so I I, I live in Southern California, but when I'm in NorCal, mm -hmm. I love biking at night um at nighttime yeah like nighttime was, like nighttime and like in mornings sometimes some mornings some <laughs> early mornings but like mm -hmm. i like to just to see like either sunrise or sunset oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah it's oh. just really really relaxing and um especially like yeah, yeah. it's all 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 online everything's online like if you don't want to go on a run go on a bike ride right yeah yeah true like, plus you right? save so much much time like the one good thing with zoom is you, you save so much time uh, not going to commuting to classes and all this. Yeah. You're all good. And yeah, and, and honestly, like just being able to um, just like have that bike ride, uh, you can go farther than like mm -hmm. what you can do with riding. Yeah, yeah, right? like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I like. I like the adventure thing. That's what Keith said too. Like Keith mm -hmm. said that like biking is like an adventure because you get to like explore places that you can't really yeah, like, yeah. on a car and stuff. Yeah. Sure. All right. So, uh, Daniel, you ready to move to the yeah, final segment? Yeah, let's head to the final kick. Yeah. All right. So, this is the final kick. This is 10 speed round questions. Just try to answer them as fast as you can. All right. So, the first question is What is your favorite running event? Uh, 10K? Uh, what's your, uh, what shoe do you run in? Sprit, so sock me. All right. Uh, hot or cold? Uh, cold. On my rest days, I like to. Uh, roll. <laughs> no, surf, surf, surf. I take it back. Surf. That's lit. Uh, which coach do you want to give a shout out to? A Rod. A Rod. Yeah. What book do you recommend? Uh, how running makes you human. All right. Uh, mile or five well, k. Abby, Abby couldn't finish that book. Ten pages in, so it might be boring to some, but I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shout out Abby. <laughs> shout out Abby. <laughs> uh, a mile or 5K? Uh, 5K. Uh, have, you, or, have you ever done a marathon? No, but I, I've done a few halves. Okay, would you ever do a marathon? Eventually, but after a half, I feel like I'm already going to break down. I don't know if I can do another half. I'll, I'll work up to it someday. For sure. All right, and this is the last question. Um, what's your favorite breakfast? Ooh, smoothies. I like I like avocados mixed with bananas and celery, but the banana <laughs> frozen because then it, it the avocados mixed with frozen bananas kind of gives it like a creamy shake kind of texture. Oh, it's really what? good. It's avocado smoothie? It's, it's so good. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> it sounds kind of gross, but it's so good. All right. <laughs> the bananas make it sweet and the avocados make it Nice and green looking. That's even that's even like more healthier than what I do. I put like I actually put honey in it, but like <laughs> you gotta make I gotta make it sweet. Actually, you gotta yeah, I have to make it sweet it. somehow. But like yeah, that's pretty smart. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, maybe I'll try it. I don't know. It's really good, Tom. It's <laughs> yeah, really, yeah, yeah, really yeah. good. 
It sounds even better with honey. I mean, honey's not even that bad. Honey's like natural. <laughs> I'm just saying that banana's even healthier though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna uh, finish off with a quote. Um, this is from Frank Ocean, uh, like not uh, not that Frank Ocean, like a different Frank Ocean. <laughs> Work hard in silence, but let success be your noise. He's mm -hmm. a triathlon athlete. Uh, I, I like that quote. <laughs> That's lit. All right, thanks for coming on, Rachel. Yeah, for sure, guys. Thanks for having me. It was really fun. <laughs> Hello, Running Club at UC Riverside fans. Daniel Ang here, president of Running Club. If you like that video that you just watched, smash that like button down below. If you'd like to see more podcast episodes and creative content, remember to hit that subscribe button right here. Thank you so much for watching.